Hello guys, this is your host AZ here and today I'm going to be talking about the new AMD Polaris architecture and mainly about the leaks that just happened a few hours back in the AMD's Polaris Macau event that's just being held right now. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first of all guys, the leaks that just happened today was about the performance of the AMD Polaris 10 graphics card. We all know that Polaris 10 graphics card is going to be for the mainstream and uh, the Polaris 11 GPU is going to be for the notebooks and for the performance side of the things in the market. So AMD was showing the Polaris 10 GPU and in the image that was leaked there was written the RX 480 GPU. So I think the Polaris 10 GPU is going to be coming in two SKUs and those SKUs are going to be named as 480 and the 480X just uh, like the 280 and the 280X and 380 and the 380X that just are previously released by AMD. So the performance that just uh, AMD was showing us was like Doom running at 1440p resolution and I don't think that AMD would show um, a GPU running less than 60 frames per second so I think that the Doom would be running at 1440p resolution that's just confirmed from the image and it's just running 60 frames per second and higher than that so assuming that it's still running at 60 frames per second so we already know the, about the competition's graphics cards that's just gonna be releasing and already released the uh, GTX 1080 and the GTX 1070 we know that the GTX 1080 Give round about 100 frames per second in the Doom 1440p benchmark. So, the 1070 being round about 22% lower in performance than the 1080, uh, it would round about give us frame rate about uh, 78 FPS. So, that comparative to the new RX 480 graphics card, which is more than 60. We can just take it as 60 and see that how the market is going to be when the new GPUs by AMD are going to be launching. So the AMD according to me is going to be covering the mainstream mainstream market only and uh, Nvidia is going to be covering the uh, enthusiast level market. And after 6 months when the Vega launches, AMD is going to be competing head to head with Nvidia in the 1080, 1080 Ti and the Titan new whatever it's called. So yeah, that's my speculation guys. And talking about its performance, this new GPU RX 480 is going to be more than in performance uh, than the 390X and close to the R9 Fury series. So that's pretty amazing performance and assuming it's going to be mainstream market and mainstream market for AMD comes at about $250 to $300 maximum. So it's going to be a pretty amazing GPU for the money. and. That's speculation guys, this, this is what I'm t telling you about my own ideas about the GPU, the leaks that, I sh leaks that I told you were pretty amazing. So yeah, this was the news guys about the new AMD Polaris GPU and leave in the comment section below that do you want to see uh, me buying this GPU or are you excited about this new GPU's lineup that AMD is going to be releasing. Cause I'm pretty much into these GPUs and I'm looking at the performance and I'm stoked by them. Uh, I'm not an AMD fanboy but I am pretty likely to be buying the AMD GPUs because of the price to performance ratio that I'm going to be getting from them. So peace out guys, I'm going to be going out and love you all, peace.